We have walked for two hours on foot in the Kamboi Hills, stroke Kamboi Forest, then tropical forest. And now we are very close to the Stenophila Wild Garden. This is where agronomist Daniel Samu, as well as a team of researchers from Kew Gardens and Greenwich University, recently made a major discovery. Coffea stenophila. So um, this is one tree, like we said, they are sporadically spread in the forest. But one distinct feature is that at the tail end of it, you have this curvature, pointed and a little bit curved. So that's how the stenophila looks like. Farmed until the beginning of the 20th century, this coffee was served to European high society. But due to its scarcity, it was gradually replaced by Arabica and Robusta strains. Farmers soon forgot about this species, which was thought to have completely disappeared by 1954. So from 2013 to 2018, we have been searching. And we found out that it only grows 400 metres above sea level. So I told the team that, well, we have Campbell Hills in Kenema. So can we go there? And they said yes. And we came to the forest and we climbed the hill. And finally, we saw about three to four trees. In Sierra Leone, coffee has been cultivated for decades, but the country barely makes a mark on the global market. It ranks 19th among Africa's coffee exporters. <laughs> this recent rediscovery has many hoping for a boom. Aware of Coffea Stenophila's financial potential, Graham Billington, a former diamond dealer turned coffee exporter, has invested in a farm in an attempt to help the species thrive once again. Now, this coffee is probably the hottest topic in the industry. Um, not only because it's a solution to the climate change issue for coffee, but it has rare boutiques and flavours and notes in its, in its uh, estimates, and um, a lot of coffee companies obviously would like to get their hands on such a rare, unique coffee. Ili, Lavazza and Nestle have already shown interest. But some local Sierra Leonean communities are worried that they won't reap the benefits of this latest discovery, as this village chief explained. We are very happy with the discovery of this coffee. But it comes from here, from our land. So we're demanding that the government allows us to participate in its development and cultivation so that we can also profit from it and improve our lives. A typical small-scale coffee producer in Sierra Leone earns about $100 annually. The authorities hope Kafia Stenophila will sell well, improving the lives of the country's farmers.